Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. Today we're going to be tying up a, an American style streamer pattern that can be used anywhere. It can be used in Ireland, it can be used in the UK. And I've actually used it for, for Pollock fishing. I've got Pollock on the fly on it. Um, so the fly we're going to be tying is a Mickey Finn, but today I'm also going to be telling you a little story about the Mickey Finn as well that I only discovered recently. Um, so stay tuned and I'll reveal that later on. But the first thing we need to do is just add on our thread. And I'm going to add on what's going to be our rib. So there's no tag for this. Okay. And the rib, just the way I've tied it on, is on your side. It could be on the underside as well. And then for the main body of the fly, it's going to be um, flat silver oval. The, the hook I'm using is it's a size 6. Now, this kind of fly you could be using a long shank size 8. But this gives you a similar kind of shank. Um, but a better gap. So I just think it was a better hookup. So I've just added on my, my flat tensile and I've got my, my oval tensile as well. And I'm just running that right down halfway between the point and the barb. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back up with the thread and just level off anything. Just trying to get it level as possible with this kind of tensile. If you use braid, you don't need to, but for this, you'll need to level as much as possible. And I am using white thread. White thread will obviously be better for using the, the silver in case for some reason you, you, you let it slip or it slips whenever you're fishing. Okay, so first thing we need to do then before we, we tie on our our body is put a little bit of super glue on the thread and then just wind up quite open turns. And this will really help secure it in. And it'll also mean that if you slip the flat tinsel, it won't unravel, it'll stay on. And I've shown that in one of my recent videos there actually, why I do that. Okay, so that's got a wee bit too much glue, but it won't be wasted. And just bring up, give it a decent enough head for this kind of thing. And then we'll just start winding up our body. So touch and turns with the silver. As I said before, you can use flat braid. It's entirely up to yourself. So, the reason why I chose this fly today, folks, was it was just on, I think it was on Facebook, I think I've seen a, a post about the US Army. Something that I never knew before, but this is the US Army and their survival kits give fly, a few flies as part of their kit. And one of the most popular flies they use in the survival kit, and the most common flies, is the Mickey Finn. And this is during the Second World War. So I just thought that's a bit interesting, you know. Uh, Mickey Finn is quite a bland fly, you know, there's not really much to it, but it obviously shows that it's an all rounder whenever the US Army are willing to bet their lives on it in extreme circumstances. And that was during the World War II. I'm sure it was done later on too. So if you know anything else about it, please do let me know. I find it quite interesting myself. Okay, so we've got the body on. And what we do then is just follow it up with the rib. Okay. So, tie it up yourself how many turns. Because this would have been a long shank, I'm not doing my normal five, but probably doing about, I don't know, about seven or eight turns there, maybe more. Secure that in. So that gives me a nice, secure, neat body. And then for this fly, we're going to be using um, bucktail for the wing. So I have a yellow bucktail and red bucktail. Um, so the first, so there's three parts of this. So the first part is going to be yellow. What I've done is I've pre-stacked and super glued these. I'll put a wee link in the video how I do that, just to save a wee bit of time. See me how many stack, but it doesn't have to be too neat anyway. Okay. Then I just pick off a bunch. Okay, and then any real long fibers or any short fibers that just don't measure that match up to the length that you're looking for. Just get rid of them and be okay. Okay, I just want this to extend to the rear of the hook. Maybe even just a little bit past it actually. Okay, so I'm just pinching loop, pinching loop again, and then I'm gonna bring that up from the from the body. Okay. And hold it tight and trim off your access. If your trim off your access is going on, it'll give you a better head, much neater. 
and then go down a couple of those cutouts. Okay, you can also use a wee bit of super glue or wax as well. Okay, so next for the middle part of the tail is red bucktail. So this is very dark red. Okay, and again I just pre-cut and glued. So I'm just leveling it up to suit. Same length as the yellow. And then pinch and loop. And then soft turns. Okay. And again, cut off your excess. And finally, the last part of the tail is yellow again. Use the stack we were using earlier. The good thing is with these, I use this kind of bucktail stack. This bird likes it, yellow alleys and cascades and the like, saves a lot of time. Okay, so this is a wee bit of a thinner one. Just going to put that same length on top of the red there. Pinch and loop. Okay. And then bring this right up here this time. Now, I haven't. Be small. Sorry, I'll probably get rid of. I haven't put wax on that time because I want to use a wee bit of super glue here. To give a very secure hold. That means I don't need to apply the pressure that you would normally use. Okay, and as well as that, I also need to change my thread. Normally you would have to do a bit of finish, but because I have super glue on it, I can just cut it off and I get my black thread and just add that on. Okay, and I can use that to colour the the head. Alternatively you could just use um black permanent marker or black varnish. But this is the original dressing, so I'm gonna try to keep it as much as possible. Okay, and as you can see folks, it's a nice wee fly, a fry pattern as well, you can use it for trout here, um, but as I said, I'm going to use it myself on the estuaries. Uh, it'll be good for seed trout, I was fishing for seed trout and had a few pollock one time, which is the reason why I now use it for pollock. Okay, that's your Mickey Finn, deadly wee fly, a fly, American Army are worth, worth putting in their emergency boxes there. Okay, folks, if you find that useful, please hit that like button below. Leave us a comment if you know anything about that backstory as well. I'd love to hear a wee bit more about it. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. All the best. Thanks very much.